What is up, everyone? It is Redbeard, and today we are talking about lav mics and why you need a Sure Twin Plex in your gig box. I really hate using lav mics. As a sound guy, I just don't like using lav mics. They're a pain in the butt to get to sound good. Ton of EQ, you gotta pull out all the tricks that you've learned over the years, but they are a necessity in doing audio. If I am going to use a lav mic, I have fallen in love with the Shure Twinplex. Yeah, you may not be familiar with the Twinplex lav, but you've probably heard it before. Sure did some crazy testing before this came out on the market. You know, it was on the voice, the Grammys, the Emmys, the presidential debates, the masked singer. What makes this microphone cool? Really, it's the diaphragm. It's not the diaphragm. What makes it different is the capsule that is made up of the diaphragm. There's actually two diaphragms in this microphone. So they give you a dual diaphragm setup, which really hasn't been done in a sub-miniature lav. Typically, Old school lavs like this guy, you know, they were bigger to get the audio quality out of them. We wanted to hide them more, so we got small lavs. And those didn't sound always that great. So sure reimagined everything and came out with this new capsule. So it's a dual diaphragm capsule. And really what that means for you audio people out there is better audio quality. So it gives you a wider Frequency range, um, you know, you get really good low end, you get really good high end. It's not just tailored for speech. It works on instruments, it works everywhere. The other cool thing about it is it's got a huge dynamic range. So somebody like me who can get very loud, my wife yells at me all the time about talking too loud, this lapel microphone can handle how I talk in my wide dynamic range. Another thing that the dual diaphragm capsule provides is better on and off axis response. You know, so as I move around, you know, that's kind of the downside to a lapel. It's pinned to me. So when I look over here or I look over here, the audio quality changes. So that dual diaphragm capsule gives you an improved off axis consistency. So when you get the talking head guy that moves around a lot, you're gonna have more consistent audio. You have been listening to me through the Sure Twinplex Lav. The TL47 is the specific model. So look that up, you'll wanna buy one. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to hook me up to Brand X. I don't know what that brand is, but we're gonna hook it up to it and let's hear the difference. So right now we are recording two Lav mics, Brand X and the Sure Twinplex. So you can hear an A-B on what this sounds like. So when I turn my head over here and over here, and I look up and I look down, do I get any beard noise? Like, can you hear this? Can you hear the beard noise? So right now we are recording two lav mics, Brand X and the Sure Twin Plex. So you can hear an A-B on what this sounds like. So when I turn my head over here and over here, and I look up and I look down. Do I get any beard noise? Like, can you hear this? Can you hear the beard noise? I have thrown out a lot of lapel mics, headset mics over the years, not because the element has died, but it's because of the cable. Especially on rentals, you send these out to, you know, the elementary school teacher and what do they do? They wrap the cable around a body pack, tie it in a knot, tie it in a bow. People are just abusive on the cable. People yank on it, it gets caught when that scene change for the play, the all important play gets caught and ripped out. So then you're thrown out of mic. Well, that's not cost effective anymore. Sure came up with this new cable and they call it the Sureplex cable because it's on the Sure Twinplex. I get really geeky about talking about this cable because it's super cool. There's two different sizes. There's a 1.6 millimeter, which I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but really that's kind of tiny. But we even have a smaller one that's 1.1 millimeters thick. That's tiny. Those small cables can get ripped apart really easy. So Sure reinvented the wheel with the Sureplex cable. And what makes it kind of unique is A, 
it has dual grounds on it. So it's fully grounded from the capsule all the way down to that connector. Over time, as you wrap these up and do things like that, you can sometimes break a shield, but you've got two shields, so you're gonna get a longer life out of these. So the cable is also resistant to kinks and memory, so it's super flexible, especially for the theater market. You know, you're sewing these in the costumes and doing different things, and sometimes they can have a memory. You're not gonna get that with this new cable. You know, you can also paint the cable. They tested it with everything from Sharpies, makeup, shoe polish, everything to get this uh, shielding to dry out, or the coating, I guess I should say, to dry out. And it doesn't do that with this new cable. One of the things that you can get with a lot of lapel microphones on the market is what's called microphonic noise. Like when you rub, oops, not rub on there, but when you rub on the cable, you can get this weird microphonic noise that's transmitted into your system. So when you've got an actor that's moving around or, or somebody that's presenting moving around, you hear this just weird noise in the background and you're not gonna get that with the Sureplex cable. Another unique thing that Sure came up with to test this new Sureplex cable uh, was this crazy machine that sits there and just abuses the lapel microphone. So what they do is they have this machine and they hang like a one pound weight off of it. And then it has this little mechanical thing that just sits there and bends the lapel while running audio through it. And that was just a test. It was a torture test to see how long these cables would last. At 150,000 revolutions, people got bored and turned off the machine. You know, they're like, that's awesome. And comparatively to some of the other brands that were out there that we tested, you know, it was up to 100 times more than the competitive product that's out there. So it's going to mean I am throwing out less lapels. I like wiggling this around. Another thing that kills lapel microphones is moisture. So when you're acting, when you're dynamically talking, you get all worked up, you start to sweat. Sweat kills microphones. So that's another thing that Sure did to make this microphone virtually indestructible. So they have a hydrophobic coating that is really hard to say, hydrophobic. So it's just, it's hydrophobic. Hydrophobic coating. So what that means is it's moisture resistant. They also have another cool machine. That's the one thing I love learning at Sure is they make all these crazy machines to test and torture test and see how products are gonna perform. So they created what is called the SweatBot. SweatBot sits there and drips sweat. I don't know how they get the sweat. They squeeze people, I don't know. It's actually fake sweat. But what they do is they actually drip this sweat on the capsules uh, to see how long it'll take to kill a capsule. And that's how that hydrophobic coating got applied and it helps with that moisture resistance so you're not going to get what is commonly known as a sweat out. That is another thing that makes this tiny little microphone super durable. Placement of a lapel microphone is key. If you don't have it in the good spot, it's not going to sound good. Pretty basic. But Sometimes you don't have a button, a lapel, something easy to attach to. So you have to get creative on microphone placement. Sure has a, just a ton of accessories for the Twinplex line. Um, you can buy this kit uh, that comes with the, the unit. It's got a nice little uh, flappy box here, but it has like everything that you need to mount this in any type of location. Different tie clips, you know, we've got the Viper clip for all you vampires out there so I can stick it in my clothes. So we even have sticky clips. So if you need to put it on somebody's skin, you can stick this little sticker to it and use the little rubber piece here. It's really hard to get out. A little rubber piece and stick that to somebody's skin and it just allows you for a ton of flexibility in mounting and gives you the ability to get the best audio possible. Some of the other things that they give you, uh, there's these two little caps in here, uh, I can, if I can find them here. So we've got a flat cap and a presence cap. So that flat cap is gonna be used when you want that broader frequency response, when you want to hear that full frequency of an instrument or a vocal range. Or we have a presence cap, which is going to give you more speech tailored. So it's going to give you those, uh, you know, that, that S's, those punctuations, that what you're listening for when somebody is talking. That's what that presence cap is for. Color options. Lapels need to come in all different colors. You know, there's historically just been the black microphone. Well, the black microphone doesn't work on all types of people or clothing. So 
sure gives you options for the Twinplex series. We've got black, we've got cocoa, we've got tan, we've got white. And again, all of those are paintable or colorable, so you've got plenty of options to make it blend in for your needs. Um, you know, also we know that sometimes Shure microphones aren't plugged up to Shure wireless systems. Heaven forbid. You know, Shure makes a ton of different connectors for those opportunities when you aren't putting that lapel mic on a Shure wireless. Um, so there's TA4F, there's Microdot, there's Limo, there's just tons of different options for the connectors uh, so you can get this to work with you or work with your system. Different sensitivities. So there's a bunch of different models in the Twinplex series line. Um, like I mentioned before, we're listening to the TL47. So the TL47 is kind of what I would say is your average all around lapel microphone. Um, it's not for too loud of people, it's not for too quiet of people, it's just right. You know, it's like Goldilocks and the porridge. I don't know where I'm going, but the TL47 is the, the kind of all around good multi-purpose microphone. But there's other options. So sometimes you need a high sensitivity microphone. So we've got options for that. They even have a version that is made for specifically for broadcast. So you can actually mount the element under clothing but not lose that fidelity that you need in the speech range. So there's a, just a ton of different options. And I know we're talking about lapels, but there is even a headset version of this. Uh, you've probably seen it on some of my videos. I really like using the headset version. So for all you public speakers out there, pastors, anyone who likes wearing a head mic, because again, it's really all about placement. If I can get it closer to the mouth, it's gonna sound better. So let's recap. What makes the Twinplex awesome? First off, audio quality. Best audio quality out there. I am going to stand by that. It is the best sounding mic out there. I love using it. That's why it is in my gig box. In case I have to whip out a lav and put it on somebody, I've got a Twinplex. It gives me durability. That is huge. I can yank on it. I can do torture tests like this. And I know that that mic is gonna work and I'm not gonna be left with a broken wire or a dead capsule when I need it the most. It gives me that flexibility right out of the box with all those accessories. Again, I don't have to worry about purchasing a whole bunch of accessories. It all comes in one thing ready to go. If you wanna check one of these out, which I know you do, you can reach out to your Full Compass salesperson at fullcompass.com.